Hi, this is Red Pixels Studio. My name is Roshan Singh. Today in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to install and configure Pixels Photoshop plugin. A good choice of images always play a vital role in designing. It can help you to attract attention of visitors, end users, clients or even your competitors. You can download images from Google also. But the problem always remains. Number 1. Quality issues. Number 2. Dimensions problem. And the most problematic one is. Number 3. You may get copyright strike. So from get rid of all the issues, I strongly suggest you to go for Pexels plugin if you are looking for your Photoshop uses. Otherwise, you can get my other videos where I explained in detail where to get free PNG images and best 10 websites for free stock images. So before starting this video, there are three requirements you have to check before using Pexels plugin in Photoshop. Number one, obviously Photoshop must be installed in your PC or laptop. Number two, you must have active internet connection. Number three, set up file of Pexels plugin. Pexels plugin link is also given in description area. If you have any problem installing Photoshop or the plugin, write me anytime. I will definitely get to you as soon as possible. So now let's jump on Pexels.com. Without wasting any time, first of all click on join button. In case if you have already joined, you just need to click on three dots and hit login. Type here your username and password. After login, click on this little down arrow and click apps and plugins. Go to Photoshop plugin, click on learn more and click on download plugin for free. As you can see both the setups available here. It complete zip downloaded. And it's around 48 MB. Select it and right click. Choose extract here. It may take some time to extract. Now double click on folder. And again double click on this setup file. And it's done. Now restart Photoshop if already open. Or launch Photoshop. And go to window extensions. And you can see here Pexels plugin installed. Ok, so now very firstly log in from your existing ID required, only then you can go further. And here it's brand new Pexels plugin ready for you. Keep scrolling down and infinite number of free HD images are just a click away. As per my opinion, recent and popular both are the fun tab as it's very quickly update anything from Pexels. It's maybe because of the popular or trending images or maybe similar to what you searched recently. Anyways, rather wasting time here, I always prefer to put my keyword here on search area. But before that, I would like to click on likes. Oops, you can see nothing yet liked by me. So find something. What about abstract? It's always my favorite medium to paint. This is something cool watercolor I got here. I definitely would like to add this in my likes. This is also nice. Ok so go back in likes now and you can see both of my images followed by something more random images. You can also explore any specific image on Pexels website by clicking this button. And now you can get all details here. Who is photographer, his her other images as well. How many followers following, image title, lens, size, resolution, camera make, date taken, aspect ratio and the main colors images comes with. 
now i want 2 minutes attention from you guys believe me it's really important although you can also skip but i cannot stop me doing this this is not a sponsored video not at all even i am not so big youtuber but as i am from design and photography community i know taking high quality images from expensive cameras and selling it for nothing is quite hard sometime i am also a stock photographer it's really a big task to upload images and wait for approvals especially when you capture models face or body it requires model release agreement also for your information pexels pays nothing to their photographers or artists for more clarification i will show you pexels co-founders interview questionnaire and their reply on the end of this video so donate them anything if you can and if not at least follow them on facebook or instagram mostly photographers share their link on the profile we at least can do this for them okay get back to photoshop again i'm not going to design anything here as lot of other videos i have seen doing this on youtube this is core pixels plugin video i control myself using brushes erasers or gradients in this video so i am creating a new document here with a standard size 1920 by 1080 pixels first you notice here it shows images dimensions just hover mouse and you will notice it changes according to the images you hovering on now see what happens if i simply click anywhere on this image it will take some time but the image is in portrait mode and my canvas is landscape so it's a scale and fit automatically actually it creates clipping mask and actually it always do mask whatever layer you selected before clicking on the image let's delete image from layer panel i am creating a rectangle here no matter what color it filled with clicking again on the same layer and see the result similarly i am having a text layer here and doing the same it's always create mask but it's not cool for me i just need images on different layers no matter how many images i need for my project so click on this setting here i keep this as it is because i always need images at maximum resolution only i am checking this off create clipping mask that's it now it work like that every image comes with its own smart object layer keep experimenting more and more and make your design super awesome as i told you this is something you can have a look So that's it from this tutorial. I hope you like this special topic. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now and feel free to write me whether it's a formal hello or anything related to design and multimedia topics. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video.